Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well, and today I want to talk about the Compositional Guitar Tapping Workbook, geez that's a mouthful, uh, by Marcus Mina, and I have a lovely graphic of the ebook on screen here for you, but because I'm an old man, um, I actually printed the workbook uh, to work my way through. Not too much fan of an ebook, but um, having the handy option of printing it out made it worthwhile. So if you've not heard of Marcus Mina before, he's a wizard when it comes to uh, two-handed tapping on the guitar, and I'll show you a quick bunch of videos now so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. I believe uh, Marcus wrote this book for those who want to develop their two-hand tapping skills and he kindly sent me the book a few months back um, to give a review on it so I've been working my way through it slowly and I want to share with you today some of my experiences whilst working through the book. So the book starts with a brief history of tapping, its origins uh, until present day, which is a nice little summary uh, so you can get an idea of where the skill actually was developed. The book's laid out in a progressive style, and what I mean by this is it's recommended that you master one section before you move on to the next one. And I found this quite useful because you could use it as like um, you know a checklist to check if you've developed enough to be able to move on to the next section. And also at the end of each section is this handy little checklist that's uh, of recommendations. You know, make sure you can do this or do that before you move on to the next section, which I found uh, quite useful. So the book itself is separated into four main sections. So the first section is aimed at developing your um, your fretting hand, and then the next section is aimed at developing your strumming hand with tapping, and then the uh, third section is combining the two, and then the fourth section of the book is uh, compositional pieces uh, that helped Marcus actually um, you know develop his uh, tapping skill to the level that he has it now, uh, which what what he writes in the book anyway. And um, each section was quite similar in um, you know in construct. You know, it had some exercises and it would have some useful tips. And um, it would start off quite easy, then develop um, you know to become you know, progressively more difficult as you went through the section. So, for example, like the first exercise in the uh, fretting hand tapping was just tapping through um, you know a major scale, uh, as I show an example here. And then that would move on to being um, a bit more musical with like some Mozart piece like uh, this one for example. And it also had some useful chord voicings. Uh, I really enjoyed learning this part actually. I didn't really think about um, you know, like just actually tapping uh, with your fretting hand and chord voicing, so it had um, first, second and third inversions as well, and here's an example of that. And then the uh, second section was about the uh, strumming hand, and again it starts off quite simple where you know you just tap through a major scale, and here's an example of that. have lots of like chromatic exercises to develop finger strength and then some exercises to also develop uh, finger independence and um, a little useful section on like intervals so tapping two notes at the same time with your strumming hand and then one that I found uh, really useful was um, you know as it gets more difficult as you progress through the section was uh, tapping arpeggios with uh, your strumming hand which is something I was quite new to so you know I struggled at first and then you know I took it slowly and worked my way through as as he recommends in, and practiced them with a metronome and uh, here's an example of an F major and an F minor arpeggio And then when you get to the third section of the book, so this was after a few weeks, well, 
possibly a few months for me. I was uh, quite busy, but you know I managed to work my way through it. But um, now you start to combine the uh, you know, both hands together. And here again, it starts off with something quite simple. It starts off with um, like for example a chromatic running uh, exercise, which you know, I'll show you an example of that instead of me air guitaring it for you. So. <laughs> And uh, this section has lots of detailed information of how to become very, you know, musical and very creative with your two-handed tapping. You know, it has such things as um, polyrhythms and then developing, you know, hand independence, you know, counterpoint, uh, syncopation, um, which is a huge thing for math rock, right? And also uh, then it has uh, exercises on uh, duality, so, you know, playing, playing at the same time, which is a concept of come across before but it was useful in this book to have a bunch of exercises to go through that so on this one here this example sorry the uh, the left hand here is going through um, a D minor arpeggio whilst the uh, right hand up here the my um, strumming hand sorry is playing an, an F major arpeggio so you have a, a minor sixth interval there which sounds really nice I know it's just just a sixth interval in a sixth interval of some kind I can't remember off the top of my head but it sounds nice anyway so check it out And then as I said, the last section of this book is just uh, pieces that Marcus transcribed and he said these pieces are what really helped him um, you know, develop his uh, two-hand tapping technique. The one of the biggest things that I learned and really didn't think about before on this book was when you're doing a two-handed tapping um, technique is that to not to try and think of both parts at the same time but like master one at a time so like with your fretting hand master the the part that has to be played there and then master the you know the fretting and uh, strumming hand sorry part and then put them together I know it sounds fairly obvious but that was something that really didn't occur to me because I was just trying to do them both at the same time and then I flipped a few pages in and then you know there it was in a written in text just like do it that way and then that made things you know I was like a you know, like a light going off in my head. I'm quite dumb, so <laughs> I'm sorry if that sounds really obvious to you, but yeah. yeah but, um... So overall thoughts of the uh, the book, um, there's not many uh, tapping books or anything like that, like actually specifically aimed at, you know, like uh, the kind of thing that we're after, right? So this is really useful book and I think it's modest, moderately modest, modestly priced at uh, five dollars but I, that was um, when I checked it last but um, yeah it's been incredibly useful and I've still got tons to learn from it you know it's full of so much useful information the only criticism I have is that it, um, it uh, I think Marcus like uh, thinks that whoever's uh, reading this book has quite a good knowledge of, um, you know, like being practical with music theory, like knowing how to apply scales and chords and stuff like that. So the musicality part is uh, somewhat lacking in the book, but um, yeah, don't let that put you off because it's still a, a fantastic book. And um, if you're interested in picking it up, I'll throw the link down in the description for you. I'm sure uh, Marcus will appreciate that. And I want to say thank you to Marcus uh, for sending the book over because I've had so much fun um, going through it. It's been challenging at times, of course, and I've been just, it's been really good just to dabble in it, you know, in and out of it, you know, for five minutes practicing an exercise. Uh, or two like every day basically so and I highly recommend that you go out and get this book if you're interested and um, well you don't need to go anywhere sorry because it's an ebook just go to the, the his web page sorry <laughs> and um, yeah recommend it and if, you, if you're de trying to develop your tapping skills and if you want to be a wizard with tapping and all that jazz then uh, go and check out this book 
as always, thank you for watching, and thank you, Marcus, for um, sending me the book, the ebook. And um, I will leave any questions down below, and perhaps Marcus may respond, or I can pass them on to him. Uh, either way, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.